This is Egan Sebastian Bach, Prelude number no. 5. This prelude has many ornaments, and uh, there are mostly two types: three note ornament and four notes ornament. Four notes. So make sure all those ornaments are played on the beat. It means that it needs to coincide with the first beat. Because sometimes we have tendencies to play like this. So make sure it is together. Uh, you can practice ornaments alone. For example, measure 11. The meter sometimes is changing, and the meter is quite unusual. It is three quarter notes, but it feels like there are triplets inside, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. So make sure you really subdivide by quarter notes like this. Or check measure twenty one. Same could be one, two, three, 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 one, but it is rather written in quarter note. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. And here we have left hand to help. Switch of 16th notes uh, in between measure 38 and 39, and then coming back to 43 is a bit challenging. Um, you can practice in slower tempo, for example, like 100 or around that, and practice just two measures 38 and 39. Challenging moment. 
because box reaches the speed without reaching uh, meter. Then phrasing. Uh, I would phrase by two measures, um, by each harmony. So first harmony is D minor. just harmonies to get used to the harmony which Bach uh, uses here. So it is D minor. Make sure it doesn't sound like you keep making accents of when you're switching hands. So look. So it needs to sound like one phrase without uh, having smaller motives. So really listen and shape and uh, do not overhold something. So use note by note. Thank you. Keep practicing.